Welcome to this very special edition Technical Corner. I'm in Zeiss in rugby, where I'll be joined by Jay, the measuring hero from Germany. And we're going to be reviewing the all new Odetect. Jay, it's an absolute pleasure to be joined by you today. Now, let's focus our attention and zoom in on the all new Odetect from Zeiss. Jay, over to you. Thanks, Gio, uh, for the opportunity to speak to you from our customer center here in Oberkoken. Um, I probably get to talk to you about the Odetec today, which, as you're aware, uh, is a very special machine uh, to my heart. Um, uh, so let's walk through a couple of the things that make this machine really special. Uh, the first one, of course, is it is a brand new uh, digital optics engine. Uh, we have innovated around uh, the optics technology to integrate a full digital zoom optics engine. This provides customers the ability to have a large field of view plus high resolution, uh, especially when compared to traditional optics engines uh, that are out there today. So brand new optics engine. Uh, the second thing that we have is a um, brand new uh, uh, exchangeable accessory or ring light option. So this allows customers the opportunity to exchange ring lights and top lights uh, as they need. Uh, only when they need it, uh, and this is done without the need for a service call. So a customer themselves can decide what top light they want, uh, when they want it, purchase it, install it, and go. Plus, it future-proofs the machine because as we go forward and new uh, lighting strategies come into play, uh, we can simply push those strategies out, and the customer can upgrade that as they go. So. Uh, the third one that I'd want to highlight is something we actually didn't even get to touch on in uh, uh, our Innovation Rocks, uh, which is a fully integrated color overview camera. So the overview camera takes a picture of the entire image and allows the user the opportunity to uh, navigate easily around the entire stage without having to go back and forth uh, from the software to the joystick. Um, this color camera also helps with visualization of the part for reporting or just kind of understanding where they are uh, around the part. The next one is we've had significant improvements uh, to our software. We uh, n uh, ship the Odetect with Z Zeiss Zaphire software. Uh, Zaphire is, uh, only takes two days to learn, so it's simple, easy to learn, easy to use, um, and it uh, integrates a very intuitive workflow. You go left to right, top to bottom, very easy to, uh, to navigate your way around it. Uh, it's also a full 3D software, so these uh, images that are captured actually have a Z component to them. So um, it is, uh, again, not only simple to use, but a full 3D software. Uh, talking about being 3D, uh, this machine is um, a full 3D machine. So we uh, ship the machine uh, with a full MPE 3D specification. Uh, this MPE 3D means that the entire volume is calibrated. So uh, we have the ability to measure part anywhere within the 322 measuring volume with um, absolute confidence that these uh, measurements are good. This is something completely different from uh, what exists in the industry today. Other competitors have an MPE 2D uh, with a separate Z component. So this is very much a Zeiss um, machine. Uh, we're known for our accuracy. Odetect is uh, uh, no exception. Uh, in addition to that, we deliver an MPE 3D doing full ISO 10360-7, which is international and uh, transparent. So we're not hiding behind how we derive the um, MPE 3D. Uh, and uh, again, uh, this is exactly uh, a machine that you would expect uh, from SAIS. Uh, and then the third, of course, is we deliver very powerful and actionable reports via PiWeb. PiWeb is a reporting solution and an SPC solution that is uh, common across our entire IQS portfolio. And of course, Odetect is uh, no exception. So yeah, that's uh, Odetect in a nutshell. Well, Jay, where do I start? Great to see you, by the way. Um, there's certainly a lot to talk about here. Um, I certainly love the palletization aspect for versatility and quick changeovers. But this particular product evolved from the 
Owen Specht, and you were um, a big part of this. What are the techni technological advancements in accuracy for measuring 2D and 3D parts? Hey, Ju, yeah, great question. Um, we do utilize the same three-point uh, palletization system, so that means uh, you can uh, use the existing pallet uh, systems that we have on our optical series. So you can move a pallet from the OI uh, to the O-Detect uh, with complete confidence. So um, that's great. Uh, a word of warning though, um, right now our uh, fourth axis rotary table does not yet work on the O-Detect. But um, yeah, 2D, 3D measurements are, uh, were, was a very, very important part for us as we were developing this uh, system. So um, basically what we did, uh, 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 kind of state of the industry right now, is you calibrate uh, doing a MPE 2D, which is basically putting a uh, glass plate on the, um, on the, the stage of the machine and measuring an X and Y and then doing an independent uh, Z. So what you end up having is an XY specification and an independent Z. Uh, when we were designing this, uh, we definitely said to ourselves, this is not acceptable for a Zeiss machine. We wanted a full 3D of volume uh, uh, expression. So we wanted X, Y, and Z, the full cube. Um, as we set out to accomplish this, this is exactly why we ended up with the same uh, a rigid frame as the Owen spec because we knew that the Owen spec frame did support a full volumetric accuracy. Um, but then the next question technologically was how do we do this uh, using just a um, using just a camera sensor. So what we ended up doing was we knew that uh, um, calibration via ISO 10360-7 uh, dictated that you uh, demonstrate linearities uh, horizontally, vertically, and in both diagonals, uh, and then a circle off to the side. Uh, so the question was, how do we do that in a full 3D cube? Uh, the novel solution that we came up with was we actually tip up the glass scale, um, and by tipping it up, we have a known uh, uh, distance here, and we have a known angle and simple geometry dictates that the graduations now uh, should change based on the, the angle and the distance. Uh, we worked with ISO and uh, we, uh, ISO then agreed that if we read the graduations correctly based on what the um, geometry should be, we have in fact demonstrated MPE 3D with a 2D camera. So that's our novel way of getting around um, uh, delivering an MPE 3D. So it was twofold. It was creating a machine on a stable reference frame and B, uh, coming up with a really novel way of calibrating it uh, so that we could, to the customer, deliver full MPE 3D um, while still retaining uh, an ISO 10360-7 open uh, architecture. So this machine, uh, can measure 3D parts just as you would um, uh, other parts. MPE 3D, again, very, very impressive. But when we talk about solutions and applications, you know, you, again, you were instrumental in designing this. What does it really lend itself to? Great question. So we now understand that this is a 3D machine. It's 3D that in that it's different. Uh, it's I really kind of call it two and a half D, because although we are volumetrically accurate within the entire cube, we still only take really 2D measurements. So um, if you want a full 3D machine, uh, um, you know you go to the O inspect so that you can get kind of using the tactile around it in. But the applications that we determined this machine would be perfect for were, uh, for example, if you need um, 2D measurements in an entire 3D cube um, and be able to be traceable, uh, this is the perfect machine for you. So we uh, envision that 
anyone with a high compliance market like a medical or an aerospace, in particular where you have different parts coming into and out of, like a medical uh, incoming inspection, for example, this is the perfect machine for you because you need that accuracy throughout the volume, you need that traceability via ISO 10360, and you need um, basically the ability to, to go uh, uh, work into and around the entire volume. Another application or customer segment that we found this to be extremely helpful for would be job shops, uh, especially on the smaller to medium size where you really need the flexibility to be kind of a general purpose machine. Not all of your fart parts will be flat. Uh, they'll have a Z component or maybe they'll be flat today but you don't know what job you're bidding on tomorrow so these job shops need the flexibility of a full volumetrically accurate machine um, Zeiss Oditech delivers. Furthermore, for those job shops, uh, when we've integrated things like a very simple software that only takes two days to learn, then anyone can learn it, right? So you don't have to necessarily have a dedicated full-time um, uh, measuring person, right? Anyone that uh, uh, can take the two-day class uh, can be qualified to run this machine. So you have simplicity in your measurements plus accuracy within the volume, perfect for those smaller to medium sized job shops. So this is the innovation that Odetect was kind of built around and really why we built it. Two days to learn is very impressive and I'm, I'm sure it's certainly simplified things. I mean, that, that's astonishing really. Um, I get what you mean about the job shops and the applications, but can you actually give me um, a component example and how would they have checked this component without the Odetect? So, like, a current, like I said before, uh, we built this, uh, you know, really around simplicity and easy to use. So currently what those... Uh, what those job shops will do, for example, uh, they'll have to go one of two ways, and neither of them are good, right? They either have to go through the exercise of buying a system that is either A, complicated, uh, which means that the smaller job shops have to hire a dedicated quality, uh, quality person to learn a very complicated system, or uh, the machine that they get is only good in two dimensions, so uh, they limit their job shop, uh, the jobs that they can take by their measuring machines uh, uh, to be 2D. Um, so that's one way that uh, currently a job shop could go, either uh, uh, adding complexity to their measurement routine or a limitation in the measurements that they can take, um, or they go the complete other way and it's completely manual system. So they have to take calipers or um, height gauges. So you do it a very old school way, which is very labor intensive. And if these job shops have higher throughput, uh, this gets to be a very tedious process and you end up having very expensive labor uh, doing very menial tasks like uh, hitting something with a caliper. So. Uh, uh, the ability to do a simple and easy to use measurement uh, with an Odetect is really important, uh, especially for those job shops that either have to, A, don't want to invest in um, uh, someone learning a very expensive or difficult to use uh, software or having tedious processes like uh, you know, manual, manual measurements. So that's the way they do it now. Odetect is the perfect solution for that. I'm guessing the, the time savings are significant by the, the improvements and the simplification in the software. Um, in regards to the lights, how easy is it to, to change the lights and could this be a possible barrier to entry? Uh, no barrier at all. It's extremely uh, easy to program. Like I mentioned earlier, uh, the full training class is only uh, two days long. Um, so very easy for anyone to pick up. We actually also created a, uh, uh, our, the first of many uh, e-learning modules. It's about a 15 minute e-learning module uh, where it guides you through the process of turning on the machine um, safely, uh, turning on the software, taking a quick caliper style measurement like a radius or a distance between, uh, writing a quick report in PyWeb, and then turning off the machine shortly. That takes you 15 minutes. That's how easy it is. So no barrier whatsoever to being able to grab this machine and start working. And uh, as far as the lighting system, it's this easy. Take the machine, 
pull it out, you can see that there's locating pins on it, plus a mess of pins so that the system actually understands what is on it. Um, and then uh, if you want to put a new one on there, uh, you just basically put it on. That's it, no service, no nothing. So it's that easy. Well, you made that look really easy, Jay. Now, in this digital world that we are uh, all living in, what data um, and reports can you acquire? Of course, we live in a digital world. So uh, just like we mentioned before, um, that uh, we have standardized on SICE PiWeb Reporting Plus uh, across our entire portfolio as the methodology for which, or the platform for which we uh, uh, deliver reports, high level reports, uh, via, uh, doesn't matter if it's via our uh, Duramax, O-Inspect, or Xenos, you all get the same, uh, each machine gets the same quality PyWeb reports. And of course, um, O-Detect is no, uh, um, no exception. So uh, you get uh, in a very, in a digital way, um, all of the power of SICE PyWeb Reporting Plus, and it plugs into uh, PyWeb as an SPC or a global uh, SPC uh, software. Uh, so uh, it, uh, Odetect can also be part of your new digital um, uh, world, basically, your, your new digital uh, industry 4.0 um, uh, uh, workplace. Jay, I'm sold. I'm going to buy one. What's my return of investment? Great, Gio. I uh, expect to see a PO for your machine soon. Um, uh, ROI is uh, uh, actually, you know, uh, varies depending on where you're coming from. Of course, I mentioned earlier, like uh, our hypothetical job shop. If you coming from manual gauging, it can be uh, quite significant because you might have to come up with a, a hard gauging system for each part that you measure then uh, maintain all of that so each part if you have 20 or 30 of them your investment can be you know 50,000 euro uh, each part um, so over five years that gets to be you know in the half a million euro range of course your investment in Odetect uh, is singular and you only have to maintain one machine and then every time you get a new part you only uh, create a new measurement routine, which we talked about earlier, was simple to, uh, was simple to program. So uh, in that case, uh, your ROI can be extremely significant because you're coming from a very manual, labor-intensive, uh, hard-to-maintain uh, uh, side to a simple, easy-to-use system uh, where the difference from part to part to part is just a new program. So like I said, over a span of five years can be you know, as much as like half a million euro range. So it can be quite significant. Um, but anyway, um, I really appreciate your time uh, to give us, uh, that you've given me uh, to tell you a little bit about uh, this machine. As you're aware, uh, it's why I came to Germany and I'm very proud of it. And uh, uh, when this whole thing ends, Gio, I look forward to going, hanging out with you uh, in a proper way. I know we've done these interviews uh, once we did it via uh, the web. Now we're doing it in this weird way. Uh, hopefully the next time we do it in person. And uh, so, but anyway, thank you for the opportunity to speak to you and your audience about um, the Odetect. So, see ya. Jay, it's been an absolute pleasure and I can't wait to meet you in person and do the next video uh, in person. Thank you very much for giving the, us this fantastic review on the new Odetect. It's a fantastic uh, product with some really nice technological advancements. Thank you very much, Jay.